Welcome, Goombas, to another episode of Dengarompa. You're here with Kuma. We are continuing off where we left off last time, which is the end of the assembly where Monokuma told us to kill everyone. And Makatonage, of course, he says, You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind is frozen, my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. Well, not mine. Because I know you're not going to kill anyone, unfortunately. If this game actually allowed me to kill someone, this game would be over pretty quick. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. Really? Ooh, chapter one to survive. Now I wonder if this game plays on 20 FPS, because my recording seems to be on 20 FPS, and it doesn't seem to be going up. But then again, considering this game is mostly clicking and reading, I don't think it makes that much of a difference. All it took to pierce it, it was her sharp words. So, what are you going to do now? Oh, now she's talking. Just stand around, glancing at each other. Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us back to reality. Right, she's right. Sometimes even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. To forget such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. Oh my god, this guy. Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Someone hit me. Punish me. Oh god, he's one of those guys. Jesus, if you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. Say he's got a right attitude. Perhaps, but what is the mission exactly? Uh, to get the fudge out. Black. Idiot, to look for a way out, duh. And we have to totally find s whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of them. But before we do all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing something else. True, if we stumbled around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit. Rules. Fine, then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Oh, it makes the same sound as the anime. Makatonage. After turning on the ebook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then, from the main menu popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. Ah, here we go. An itemized... Who is messaging me? Two emails. The fuck I give a shit about? I'm here playing my video games. An itemized list appeared on the screen. It was school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on us all. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than a dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. What? With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peaks Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Ah. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I look around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. This is bullshit! What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let someone control me. Well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. But if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. <laughs> oh, he's a gamer at heart. I love it. I Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man breaks a promise, when a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. So what? I made a ton of promises that I still have to keep, so that's what. So I can't afford to die in here. None of that made much sense to me, but you are saying you will follow the regulations, is that it? Ah, uh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Uh, anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. Uh-oh. 
They're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered. I was wondering about that myself. Oh my god, you little sociopaths. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But why? Why do we have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. Ooh. Don't jab at me. More like a full-on stab. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murders or whatever. Now that we know about the rules, let's start exploring the school. True, we need to find out what exactly... We need to find out exactly where we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? There are tons of questions that need to be answered. Damn straight. And let's start looking around. Oh god, they're gonna start searching the school. Can I just go and explore? I'll be going alone. What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Wait, hold on a second. That would never... Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all sized up. That's why you're all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> but, 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 it's true. <laughs> so I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. <laughs> Hold on. Like hell, I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. <laughs> Out of my way, Plankton. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Oh shit, he's about to get hit. One tiny bit of plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant, they couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. Why does it look scared, not mad? I'm gonna kick your ass. Stop it, we shouldn't fight. The fuck you say, just some kind of goody goody little bitch. Oh, this guy. Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my fucking dad or something? No, I wasn't. Oh, yeah. Fuck you. Bam. Oh, wham. <laughs> I got hit. He punched me. And I flew back in a heap. Holy shit. He's like fucking Bruce Lee. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there. The next second I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten the kind of people I'd be trapped here with. My common sense has just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised to lead to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. Before it finally cut out completely. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Ah. Huh. My room. Oh, the music! BGM. That's pretty cool. Huh? Where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. Now you can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the F1 key. You can use this menu to check the school's regulations, character info in the report card section. At certain points, map and truth bullets may not be available. You can also save and load the game under the system section. Finally, press F2 to review the transcript. This records all permanent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. Oh, holy shit! I fucking keep records of everything? Hey, this is a pretty spacious room. Key, huh? This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain, which means it must be mine, right? Better hang on to it. No shit, Sherlock. Trash can, huh? Hmm. <gasps> I got a monokuma coin? The fuck? What's this? A vibrator? Some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves. Motherfucker. No maids? No maid kuma? It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. Oh, there's a camera. Can I save? Just in case. Ah, oh, observation. Close. Ah, uh, F1. Truth bullets. Review evidence and witness accounts you've made a record of. Ah, oh, so I gotta do investigations. Okay. I guess this means when someone eventually decides to kill somebody, we have to investigate. There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall which says, Announcement from Headmaster of Monokuma. 
Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lockpicking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at night time. Also, the bathroom in the girls' room includes a lock of their own. Finally, we prepare a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a tool kit. The sewing kit includes a map of the boys' vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. Holy fuck! For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any kind of a tool should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. Um... Okay. I crushed up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Hey, you might need that. Yeah. Let's see how the room is. Bathroom. Ah, oh, it doesn't work. It's not opening. I guess it's locked. Fuck, I don't have a lock. Why is it closed? I'm going outside. Looks like, like the door leads outside. It's locked. So, some kind of rooms have locks, huh? No shit! Use the fucking key! What, I have to inspect all these places? There's nothing strange about the bear, that's fine. What am I supposed to do? Look at fucking everything? Can I just go and kill someone? Looks like there's something in the drawer. Oh, it's a toolkit. Must be brand new and it's still in shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, just leave it here. This room must be... Of course, it's your room. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will seem sleeping class and punished. It was your sleeping room. No shit! Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers that question. The next question is... What is everyone else up to now? There's only one way to find out. Let's get out there. I wanted to get out there, but you didn't want to, you little shit! How do I get out? Yes. I rushed out the room to meet with all the others. But there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. You got hit again? Ah. Oh. oh, why not? You you bump into the goddamn idol. Of course. She had an embarrassing smile on her face as I dropped slowly. Of course, you just happen to bump into the girl you've been idolizing. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? Mm-hmm, you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. Oh, wow, I'm sure you are. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good, then. But are you okay, you know, from when Mondo hit you? That's true, I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. Yeah, that doesn't really help your odds, does it, boy? I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Magato! Oh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we found out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. What the fuck? Dude, when a cute girl says, hey, come with me, you don't fucking ask questions, you just go with the girl. Ah. Oh yeah, I can walk. Oh, Mundo's door. I can't kill him. Oh, oh, oh. oh my fucking god, everyone's doors. Everyone has their own room. It's pretty cool. Oh, we've even got a garbage room. That's cool. Oh, I can't go anywhere. I gotta go to the hall, of course. Oh, we've got a laundry as well, huh? So we've got some place to dry our clothes. The bath, which is of course closed because reasons. This must be the dining hall. Yeah, there's the dining hall. Let's see what happened. Huh. Looks like The Sims. 
This must be the dormitory dining hall. No shit, Sherlock. Looks pretty clean, so that's good. Uh, I guess that's not really important right now with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's very true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much of a choice. I guess we should just wait here for everyone. Okay, let's just wait here. Mm. Like I said, I'm psychic. Oh shit, she's reading your mind. Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? It's kind of sudden, I know, but here comes a tutorial. Right now, I like to talk about reactions. What? You're going to be talking to Sayuka, right? Well, while you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they look. When purple words show up, if you press the right mouse button, you go into reaction mode. At this point, you can use the WASD buttons to make a selection on the left mouse button to confirm. Also, when it comes to the dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Talking to someone about things uh, like this is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever-important school life. Uh, right click. Reaction! Yes. Ah, you have gone ahead and used it already. Well, that's just wonderful. Make sure you keep it in mind as the story keeps on moving forward. Okay. Now's your chance to talk to the girl. Don't fuck up. I'll help you. By the way, Makoto. Huh? What is it? Well, it's just... I know this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. Huh. <laughs> right click, of course. Continuing our self-introductions? We kind of got caught up before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. Saika wants to ask me something? I wonder what it is. Now I'm really curious. No shit! What? Why did the conversation end? Show me how this works. I wanted to ask you something. What did you want to ask me? Thank you! Did you happen to go to Blackout Junior High? Were you maybe in class too? Yeah, actually I was. Oh, I knew it. I went there too. I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was. Okay, dude. Play it cool. And then she remembers me. Play it cool. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Play it cool, dude. Play it the fuck cool. Hey, are you okay? Fuck, you already fucked up. Oh yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. No, you stupid fuck. We went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. Well, that's true. But there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never seen the type of per- What? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever stand out. I'm average at everything and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Dude, just shut the, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? You're so strange. Yes, you are. Strange? That's... She started giggling even louder. Oh my god, she's gonna kill me, isn't she? The somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know someone else here. Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about this. You're amazing, Makato. No, I'm really not. Dude, shut the fuck up, you're fucking this up. I'm nothing at all compared to you, my ultimates. But you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Oh my god. <gasps> Dude, you gotta stop. And thank you for helping me out. I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Why? My assistant? Yep, I'm your assistant. Dude, is this one of those... No, I don't want to play one of those dating sims. I'm going to help you find out as much as I can. So let's get out there together. When she says things like that, it, it just gets me pumped up. That's called testosterone, dude. Which is nice, but still, everyone else is late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. There must be a clock somewhere around here. Oh, I don't know. Maybe behind her on the wall? This kid, man. This kid. So what time is it right now? What? 7 o'clock at night? <laughs> you were unconscious for a pretty long time. You got knocked the fuck out. I see. Without being able to look out the window, I've lost all sense of time. Yeah, that's what not having windows does. It's like solitary confined me. You lose a sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Hello? I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. It's almost like he timed it. 
Taka threw open the dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Yeah. Ah, Makoto Sayaka. So you two got here first, huh? Oh my god, that fucking smile. You look like a rapist, man. It's like... No. Too bad I wasn't sure I'd beat everyone here. Oh, too bad I was sure I'd beat everyone here. I guess that just means they don't have enough time, enough fighting spirit yet. Dude, just calm down. Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear, I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. That's a bit much, don't you think? Oh god, dude, she's telling you to calm the fuck down. And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Thank Christ. Yes. Looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting. Oh god, look at that guy sitting in the back. And that girl that's just basically stalking him. Let's go around and share what information we found during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we can get out of here. Wait, hold on a second. What's wrong? What about... What's her name? The Silverhead Girl. Oh yeah. Kyoko. What about her? She's not here. What? Let's gonna look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. I wonder where she was. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Maybe she's dead. Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because she's dead? Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. Boop, 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 boop. The rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. I like his motto. Is it possible she was really... No, I'm just overthinking things. Darn it, Kyoto! You're really going to be late like this on the first day of school? Not only is she late, she couldn't tell anyone she would be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. You're being a real jackass right now, you know that? Yeah, she's got a point. Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. Now then, I declare the first session of the Hope Speak Academy briefing meeting has begun. Uh, Makado actually, first of all. I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. Mm-hmm. You know. What's up? I feel like I really have become your personal assistant. Don't you agree? Oh my god, she's trying to pull that cute crap on me and then murder me in my sleep. Nagai. Don't sleep with the girl. She'll kill you. I mean, she'll probably sleep with you and then kill you. Which means you'll die after you got laid, but... Not worth it, dude. Or you can sleep with her, then kill her. I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. Don't try that cutesy stuff on me. It's not gonna work. No, you've done so much. What? No, you've already done so much as my assistant. Stop being such a goddamn pussy. You're gonna die. Do I have to talk to all these people? I don't wanna. Let's talk to our good friend. What? Oh, we can only talk to her. Okay, so since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone's split up to investigate different parts of the building, but... Byakuya and Taka each went off on their own. And so did Kyoto. Okay, I'm gonna ask Byakuya. I wanted to try and find some clues to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I may no made no such discoveries. That's all from me. Really? That's it? <laughs> If I discovered anything naturally, I would have more to say, but I didn't, so I don't. Right, understood. Okay, let's continue the conversation. Oh my god, we do the same conversation again? Ugh. I spent some time looking around the dormitory, and there I made a discovery of the century. I found out that there was exactly one room for each person. No, dude, we're gonna have half the rooms, and everyone's gonna have to be a couple. God damn it, dude. Well, yeah, I figured that out before anything else. Each door has already nameplates on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. And each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name. Precision etched onto it. Why are you winking at me? 
I do not want to be your cardio buddy. No offense, but girls with bigger muscles than mine aren't exactly attractive to me. No offense. Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is in fact my room. And Chihiro and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. Well, each room also has a private bathroom, which could also lock. But it looked like there was only locks on the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. Huh? But when I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird, I should double check that later. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're going to be here a while. Or better to have than not have. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. What's wrong with being a wild animal, dude? That can't be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honor S. Student? Oh, man. Low blow, low blow. That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next.